we were supposed to fight, and then I think one week before we were supposed to fight, he got hurt. He broke his orbital. Apparent. So, it, like I tell people, he always says he's never pulled out of a fight. That's one example right there. He pulled out of the fight. And then um, we got scheduled again. And then um, I got hurt like six weeks out or so. He got rescheduled to fight um, somebody else for the title above. He won that. And then he just blew up from there. I think I have that just like, you know, I'm not looking at this as like a second career. You know, a lot of these guys are, are putting a lot of pressure on themselves. And, um, you know, to me, this is all fun. This is fun and games, man. I'm here just to have a good time. You know, I've had a good, great, great um, fight career. And um, I look at this as just like, hey, let me go in there and, and have fun again. Let's make fighting fun again. Because at one point it became work, you know, and that's when um, I saw a change in, in my fighting and so um, when I just decided, you know, we're going to go and we're going to have fun. That's going to be the number one rule is we're going to have fun and um, things things just changed. And I started just seeing success again. Um, it, it'll be very hard, you know, just in the fact like uh, for pay, like if I go back to MMA, like even if I like made it to the UFC again and everything, I'll be on the low tier and, and bare knuckle pays, you know, pretty well. And, you know, I'm doing I'd have to win like four or five fights in the UFC to like be making the same. So it kind of doesn't really make any sense. You know, I'm, I'm towards the end of my career and I'm just like, like I said, just having a good time for the last couple, um, last couple um, fights that I'm, that I'm going to do. I, I fought so, so many times like from, I think, I mean, fifth grade, maybe I, I got in my first fight ever. And from there, it just kept going and going and going. I, I my friends and I used to fight for fun in um backyards because we used to kimbo slice is a big guy from down here you know um uh, and i used to watch him before i was watching ufc fights and so my friends and i were like we're going to be the next youtube sensation and we used to literally just friend best friends would go and just bare knuckle fight each other in, in the backyard <laughs> And, and film it so um i've been a lot a lot a lot of street fights one that one that's crazy it's just because of, of the the chaos that it caused. My um, my cousin and I and um, my wife, uh, we were dating at the time. We went to like a, a party. It was like a fraternity party, I guess, you know? And it was a like a lingerie underwear party or something. And um, my cousin and I were the only guys really that wore underwear, I guess, you know? And I guess all the other guys were like getting upset and then, I saw a lot of these guys like gathering around my cousin and then they started pushing him and everything. And I was like, yo, what's up? And I went over there and we got into this altercation. I punched this guy and just like completely knock him out. He actually fell over, cracked his head on the other side from hitting the floor. And then all of a sudden, you know, one kid goes, he just knocked out our brother. And I didn't really get it at the time. You know, I had knocked down this kid and the other kid was like, um, this African-American dude. And then it was, other, and I was like, wait a second, how can that be his brother? And I was like, oh, snap. And then I just hear my cousins yell, run. And literally like a hundred guys, maybe like chasing after me. And it started this whole riot in the, inside of this neighborhood. It was this whole crazy thing, but I don't think I'll ever forget that, that crazy day. So no, no one's ever talked crap to me until I fought Jason Knight, my last UFC fight. Um, uh, it was in Chicago, and it, it just hit me by surprise. You know, no one's ever talked anything to me in a fight. And he, he started saying, like, I don't, I don't remember exactly, but he's like, go for the takedown, little bitch. I know you want, like, stuff like that, you know? And I was like, whoa, what, uh, what's happening, you know? And, and um, he was just, you know, talking like that. And I think it really got to me at the time because no one's ever did it before. But, uh, yeah, he definitely... Um, that, that shit talk kind of got to me in that fight for sure. But, um, and he kind of got known for doing it. You know, he, he started talking crap in a lot of his other fights and, um, it, it was pretty cool. I, I, I kind of like it. I hope one day I can do it one day. I just, I, I just don't think about it ever in a fight. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm, I'm very, um, social on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram tag is at fight gym, F I G H T J I M. You know, I'm on there a lot. You know, I, I, respond to the comments i'll get in i'll get in little uh 
little um, arguments sometimes with fans that that um, are keyboard warriors. So uh, follow me on that one. You know, I'm, I'm putting out things um, all the time on there. So that's usually the one that I'm most on. Um, but um, and Facebook a little bit. Oh, and my and my gym, Allers Martial Arts. Um, you know, I'll put I'll put content on that as well. So on those two things, those are the way to follow me for sure. 